There he is. I don't exist. I'm just a few minutes. She's going to get excited. <laughs> How incredible do those look? You just want to keep touching. I think it's extraordinary. We're doing something that we've never, ever done before. Hey everybody, uh, it's Tuesday. I don't really know what happened to Monday. It's a little bit odd. We were in, then we were out, and then we were in and then we were out. But anyway, let's kick start off with Tuesday. Aid is uh, away from the building, doing some other things relating to the business. So I just got in, just done a little bit of paperwork. You know how it is, you get stuck in straight away. But got a nice longer job list of things to do. Some beautiful art to show you. And uh, so I think I'm gonna get some caffeine and make a start. Right, well, what can I tell you? I've done, <laughs> I've done the crazy stuff. It's not been the very exciting day, but I have got some painting done. You can probably hear the rain now coming down. Pretty heavy outside. It's not the most pleasant of days. It's gray and it's dark. And actually it's starting to get a bit chilly. When does it ever get chilly in here? It's always look about 900 degrees. Just checking the floor actually for drips. But what have I got? I've got some software upgrades done, managed to do a deal with a very, very well-known software company because I wasn't happy with their service. Uh, updated PCs, updated photos, sent them out to clients, done some painting, done accounts, done a load of other paperwork, done a paint order, and so it goes on. But, do you know what, half four, quarter to five, let me show you just how awful this weather is. I can't complain. It's been very nice recently here, but sadly, as I look out on a rain-sodden car park, this is what I'm greeted with. This is my journey home in the rush hour. Bleah. Never mind. Tomorrow's another day. Right, that's it for the day. Hey, what's up everybody? It's now Wednesday, and we're just about to start getting prepped for our live stream. Now, I've got to warn you, we're doing something that we've never ever done before and I wonder even if by our standards we've gone too far. If you know what we do on the live streams, you know the kind of thing to expect but now we've got a lot of prep to do because we're not entirely sure if this is something that's actually going to work but that's not going to stop us. Cue the prep. Okay guys, right, so we've done quite a bit of prep already as you've just seen on the time lapses. So still got some more to do. This is about fixing the canvases to the top of the spin table. So Aidy's come up with a genius idea, <laughs> which normally involves lots of wood and timber. So we're gonna grab some of that, make ourselves some battens and hopefully, I say hopefully, secure the two canvases down onto the table. Okay, that's all the prep done. So we've got the barriers made to catch the paint. Uh, both canvases set up. We're gonna do a big reveal on the stream when we start broadcasting. So that's why we've covered up with the tarpaulin. But covered up on three sides and that just leaves enough room for me to get in. Well, hopefully, without killing myself, uh, to get in and mix the paints. That's the selection we're gonna be using this evening. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours. I might pop some more in. Let's see how we get on. But we've never, ever attempted anything like this before. So, I don't know, we have 30 minutes to go. There's no going back now. So there we go, look. We've even installed the three, nearly three metre long camera slider. You've seen on previous vlogs. So we're going to get a really unique perspective of the painting being created tonight. So we're just setting up the 4K camera to time lapse what's about to happen on these two canvases. guys one successful live stream with an experimental painting session two round ones on the table uh, offset and well we weren't sure about the balance on the table and that seems to have worked out really well because then just clean his hands get them ready to come out and then we'll uh, get the rest of it tidied up in the gallery and head home How can you see in here? I just remember where everything is. There you go. You heard it here first. He remembers where everything is. I can't. I'm in here often enough. Of course well, I can remember where You can't see it. Hang on. Hang on. Where is he? Uh, uh, no. Still can't no. see it. Hang on. What about now? There he you is. Do. I don't exist. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Go on. Disappear sure. back in there again. No, because you're going to shut the door. No, no. no, no. And he's gone. Uh, there he back is. again. No, no. <laughs> Not quite Halloween yet. No, no. Practicing. <laughs> right, should we get out of here? Let's get out of here. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hey everyone, it's now Friday. It's rather cold. You can tell the autumn's here. Uh, probably winter's on its way. Anyway, uh, lots to get stuck into today. We're about to go and have a look at the uh, painting that we did on Wednesday's live stream. Quite a breakthrough, I might admit, so I'm really looking forward to see how that's dried. Uh, plus we've got a splashback to get photographed ready for a client and all manner of other things. So everything starts with the coffee. That's where I'm heading for now. Okay guys, so uh, we've just come into the paint pod now. Managed to get the flaps rolled up. And first job is to have a look at the amazing things we created on Wednesday. How about that? So I'll pop a link down in the description um, so you can go and see the live stream. We tried something we've never done before. In fact, we don't even think it's been attempted before. Um, the angle's a little bit difficult to see actually on the screen I'm just looking at, but these are two different sized circles and they're offset. So actually we've got no center, no center point, uh, and they're two different sizes anyway and as you can see as I manually spin the table around we did a twin painting spin table session so we're just going to see if we can get these off now yeah because I might be able to operate these ah excellent right well, so while he's getting the screws out you can see the volume of paint that's come off which is quite a lot actually now we only had the barriers on three sides because of course on this side I've got to get through and get into the paint bench and all the rest of it but um, we made this kind of stand carcass kind of frame to sit everything on so it wouldn't all fly off and if you go watch the video from the actual live stream event it worked flawlessly so I hope now we could probably get these off and have a proper look at them this is gonna get exciting <laughs> Okay, so we got it out, and there we go. <laughs> How incredible do those look? Wow, let's go have a look. Now, the critical part on the stream, as you can probably imagine, was, was the join piece. But I can just imagine those when they're taken off the carcass at the back. Let's have a quick, quick look at the back. There we go. 
So screwed directly into the frames with some supporting outriggers on both, which is an AD solution for keeping them secure. But yeah, I think you can imagine that uh, when they're taken off, imagine the top one rotating around like a moon or a satellite around the bigger one. Stunning. And of course, being round, endless combinations as to where you can place them. They look incredible. So don't, don't forget, guys, go check the link out. Go watch the live stream. Okay, we've got the splash back out, and then where it is, finished. So I'm just gonna tidy the edges up, and then get it videoed, and some photos sent over to the client. Always quite a delicate process, moving these. We got it, out of the pod. Now we're in the back now, so we can just do a little bit of finishing, but that looks absolutely sensational. Talk about colour. You oh, want yes. colour? <laughs> I think they're all in there somewhere. Uh, the client's very happy, and that is all that matters. Beautiful. Right, so we've just been doing a little bit of filming for social media with the two we just showed you. Right there, mate, go on, spin it up. Let's see what we got. Go. Ready? Yeah. So, we just cleared the board because the sun's out. Uh, what we're trying to do is photograph two circles uh, together. So Aid is just concocting a little bit of a rope and tackle job here. And this is so that the outriggers on each end, I'm just pointing to there, we can just hook them in, hopefully, and be able to stand back and take some photos. Well, that's the principle anyway. That's the principle. So there, nice and easy to photograph. What do you think of those guys? Put your comments below. Right, that is pretty much the client's commission finished. Have a little peek, because it's just trying. Yes, look at that, it's beautiful. So that's following a brief. Um, we're gonna be staggering them when they eventually go to the client, because it's gonna go up a stairwell. Um, so barring that going around the frame, the two should meet you know, when they're kind of wrapped around. Uh, should look really nice, that, that's cool. Right, get the extractor on. Oh, try not to go up myself at the same time. Extractor going on. Perfect. So I've got uh, commission painted, or uh, finished off, which is great. Uh, we've got the circle paintings out, superb. I think we've done a whole host of other things. We even built a shed, probably best not to mention that. <laughs> and we've got the splash back done. So yeah, a million things, really, really happy with that. So really productive day, which puts us in really good position for next week, when we are also gonna be delivering a splash back for one week. Well, I say for one week at work, that's it. I got about two or three hours more worth of work back home when I get the PC fired up and start getting paintings online and process things, things on Photoshop. Anyway, for being in the building, that's it for now. Well, that was nearly it. Actually, what I just wanted to do was just show you this. I did this on the live stream a few weeks ago. We've already got a name for it, Fire and Ice, which I think is pretty appropriate. And one of the issues we were having is we just got a little bit of wrinkling up at the top after we'd stretched it. So we've left it kind of down on the floor, uh, resting on some bars to let some air get underneath it. And uh, so far, all the wrinkles have come out, which is great. I knew they would anyway. But the finish to this, I just wanted to show you. I know it's so, so, so difficult. I'm trying to show you what the finish is like, unless you stood in front of it. Um, but just in purely in terms of quality and, oh, you know, it's just one of those things you just want to, you just want to keep touching. I think it's extraordinary. Anyway, just want to show you that. Right, definitely going to pack up. I'm definitely going home this time. <laughs> <laughs>